Car loans will continue to be tougher to get in 2023, but we're here to help. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homer Gal. Friends, it's always been important to have good credit, but this year and all of its unique challenges and consequences have brought about many new roadblocks for banks, causing a lot of them to pull back from doing auto loans. As Kevin said, it's always been important to have good credit, but now more than ever. According to this Automotive News report, auto lenders don't plan to loosen up before the end of 2023. A recent survey shows that not one senior bank loan officer polled in the Federal Reserve April survey expects to loosen car loan standards before the end of 2023, and many of them expect tighter standards. Yes, auto dealers will have a harder time getting certain customers approved as the year progresses, according to senior bank loan officers. 39% of banks polled in April expected to toughen lending at some point between the survey date and the end of the year. 29% sure. of banks had already tightened their loan standards in the three months before the April survey. Interestingly, the reality of this situation is also making it easier for you cash buyers out there because with the dealer not being sure if they can even get financing for their customers, a cash deal solves a lot of headaches. Yeah. Loan officers representing 17 of 46 large banks said last month they expected their institutions to tighten auto loans somewhat by the end of the year. One bank planned to be considerably stricter. No banks are expected to ease their standards. Jennifer Parsons, a Minnesota-based senior director of finance at Walzer Automotive Group, said May 26 that lenders weren't tightening significantly in her market, but it might surprise some of you to know that Minnesotans also tend to have better credit on average than other states, which insulates them from some of the major changes. So not all the markets are created equally, but most are quite tight. The good news for those of you concerned to be hearing this report is that one of the things we've done many times over the years is to help people improve, build, or restore their credit. That's right. The bottom line is we can help. Before we discuss some tips on improving credit, let's talk about some of the basic elements that a banker looks for in a car loan. First, bankers want to minimize risk. That fact alone makes it really obvious how big a lie it is when dealer finance officers tell a customer, the bank wants you to buy this or that product in order to finance your loan. <laughs> Friends, no banker wants you to fill your car loan full of expensive products that do nothing to improve the value of the vehicle that you're financing. No banker wants that. No. Yet, it's a very common lie told by finance officers hoping to get an additional policy sold to a buyer. Now, there are a few things beyond a credit score that each of you can be thinking about to help minimize a lender's risk and improve your odds of getting the loan you desire. The most obvious one is cash down. The bank wants you invested in the car and they want the loan balance as small as possible. How much cash down should you have? For starters, always pay your state sales tax and the license and registration fees out of your own pocket. And don't even consider that money to be part of your cash down. You never want to put yourself in a position where you are asking a banker to finance the tax title and license fees for your vehicle. So that's always an amount to plan on paying yourself. And then there's the actual cash down payment. With the prices of cars these days, we've updated advice we gave in the past when we told car buyers to put at least 20% cash down. With artificially high prices right now on many vehicles and the likely drop in value of your vehicle, your minimum cash down payment should be like 25 to 30% paying tax, title, and license fees out of pocket, plus a 25-30% to 30 cash down payment goes a long way toward reducing a banker's risk. And quite frankly, it also reduces your own risk. Yes, it does. As a bonus, you save yourself another $1,000 to $1,500 for an expensive dealer gap insurance policy because now you don't need it. Also, if you're essentially living on a hot dog budget, <laughs> don't make the mistake of going into a dealership with expensive steak taste. Yeah. Shooting for that, it would be nice to have vehicle right now just to wow strangers or your friends would almost guarantee that you'll go home empty handed. Let's recap. Plan to pay the tax, title and license fees out of pocket. Then pay 25 to 30 percent of the purchase price in cash down. Minimum. And finally, get real with your wants and needs and find something that works in your budget. These are common sense things that apply to anyone, no matter what your credit score is. Yeah. But now let's talk about ways to raise your credit score if your score happens to be below 670. For those of you who are wondering, 670 is the bottom of the good credit category. Some of you have credit that could easily be a lot better than what it is right now, but you're making a few key mistakes. Here's a very important one. 
You might have credit cards in good standing and you make the payments on time and you've done so for years, yet your credit score is lower than it seems it should be. Here's your likely problem. Credit utilization rate has a big effect on credit score because it demonstrates to lenders how responsible you are with managing your available credit. To maintain a healthy credit score, it's important to keep your credit utilization rate low. And the general rule of thumb has been, you don't want your utilization rate to exceed 30% of your available credit, but increasingly financial experts are recommending that you don't want to go above 10% if you really want to obtain that lofty, excellent credit score. Like as if you're shooting for an 800 or something like that. So to illustrate the information Liz just shared with you, if the available credit balance on your card is $10,000, Definitely do not keep a balance on it that exceeds three grand. If you really want to boost your score, keep that balance low, like as in below $1,000. Absolutely. So let's move on to discuss the types of credit accounts that you have. Even having some types of credit cards can actually hurt your credit. A department credit card, like for Target or Kohl's, is considered non-essential credit. Having multiple open department store type credit cards could be a big reason your credit score is low. Amazon, Kohl's, Old Navy, and many others are well known for pushing their store credit cards on you. If you're somebody who likes to shop, then you probably can't even count the number of times you've been offered a credit card while checking out. This pitch usually goes like this. Open a card today to unlock up to 30% off your purchase today. If only they told you and get a 30% reduction on your credit score at the same time. Uh, yeah. That'd be honest. Just say no to those offers. If you have several of these, start paying them off and then close those accounts. Besides dropping your credit score, you're also likely paying sky-high interest rates on those cards. Yeah. I once knew somebody who told me she had acquired $40,000 in debt all on store-issued credit cards. Oh my goodness. That's a mountain of money to be buried under, and your credit score is definitely suffering because of it. That story brings to mind another factor that goes into car loan consideration, your debt-to-income ratio. Indeed. With the high debt-to-income ratio, you aren't having much luck saving money each month, and you're at a high risk for loan default. So what's considered good? 36% or less debt to income ratio shows you can afford the car you're after, and you've likely had success saving or investing a healthy amount of income each month, giving you a lot more cash to use for a down payment. Most lenders will see you as a safe bet to afford monthly car payments for a new loan or a new line of credit. In the final category of those with no credit or damaged credit and need some tips for restoring or building credit, one of my all-time favorites for this is a cash-secured loan. Now, before you get concerned and say, I don't have cash to tie up with a loan, let me say, yes, you do. Are you paying rent somewhere, maybe $1,500 to $2,000 a month? A cash-secured loan is very easy to do, and you can actually use your rent money to do it. We recommend you become a member of a credit union if you don't happen to be already, and then you talk to them about a cash-secured loan. Over the years of largely being cash buyers, and staying away from these loans, both of us have used cash secured loans to keep our credit scores current and high. This is super easy to do. The credit union or bank takes your cash deposit of let's say 1500, puts it in an account and freezes the money. It's kept there to secure the 1500 loan that you're about to receive. But don't worry, you need the money from rent, right? As soon as the loan is done, they hand you your money back. You happily go down and pay your rent and now you've got a loan working for you building your credit. You don't even have to worry about making the payments because while you do generally pay the first monthly payment out of pocket, all of the following monthly payments are automatically withdrawn from your funds that you deposited into that frozen account. And presto, timely monthly payments start being reported to the credit agencies on your $1,500 loan, helping to build, maintain, or even restore your credit. Good stuff right there. All right, I hope you learned something valuable about credit today. If you're new here at the Homer Guy channel, you should be aware that the Homer Guy team is on a mission to highlight and promote good dealers around the country, and we'd love to hear from you. If you are a dealer who offers good customer service with no funny business, and you provide a simple, honest car buying experience for your customers, jump on board with us by completing the dealer enrollment form that you can find in that description box down below or pinned in the comment section. By the way, if you're a car salesman or any level of management in a dealership and you'd like to nominate the dealership you work for as being one of the good guys, we invite you to do so. Thank you to our viewers who have also sent in quality nominations. Also, to our newest viewers out there, it's vitally important that you don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on our future announcements. 
Also, if you're new here, you should know that this year is coming the announcement of an all new hassle-free car buying process to help car buyers get a new vehicle without all the typical challenges. And we are excited to say that very soon, we'll be running test matches between given buyers and good prospective dealers to conduct some trials as we approach the full launch date of this car buying process. I also want to mention that after a recent corporate call, we were told that the scope has been open for the entire United States, not just Florida, for the launch. Boom. Yep, it's an open up to be nationwide. You can use the simple Google document to sign up for early notification. Find it in the description box below or visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com, to jump on board. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team and our show, is where you always find the most reliable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. And we so appreciate the trust and confidence that thousands of you have shown us by getting on the notification list for our new hassle-free car buying list. It's awesome. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our ginormous YouTube family. If you've just recently joined our fast-growing group of subscribers, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.